Greetings, citizens of Earth. Welcome to Hatch Talks. Today we are making something blue. Yes, our topic today is drawing and building something only using blue, a monochrome illustration. And uh, welcome back to Hatch Talks. We can I can't do some live streams lately. Sorry about that. Some uh, technical difficulties happened lately, uh, like today. Uh, my headphones are not working. Uh, today is a Murphy day, Murphy slow day, uh, but I don't want to postpone any more uh, streams uh, again. So uh, if you hear anything problem, please write on chat and welcome again. Uh, nice to be with you today. So uh, what I'm going to plan is I'm going to build. Thank you, my dear friend. Uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, I will make some uh, a comp composition, uh, an abstract composition and an experiment uh, only using the color blue uh, and using a tube uh, watercolors. So we have uh, Pebeo's Frogonaut series, uh, Frogonaut blue. Uh, we have Cerulean blue from White Nights, uh, we have Cotman uh, Cobalt Blue, and we have Ultramarine with us. And I have my uh, watercolor set, and for drawing, I have uh, watercolor uh, drawing pens, which I'm going to use right now. And what I plan to do is uh, I'm going to build a painting using Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Adoration of the Maggi. Uh, I'm planning to com use the composition as a form right here and then uh, go on afterwards. So we have two comments, let's answer them. Hello, thank you, thank you. I'm making live streams on English uh, at Fridays uh, 10 p.m. on Turkish time zone uh, and uh, Wednesdays on uh, mon uh, mon Sundays, uh, I'm doing Turkish live songs. I'm using my Facebook page, both in English and Turkish, and my Twitch page also. Uh, but in YouTube, we have two uh, channels. One of them is Hatch Talks. We are here right now. So if you subscribe, like, and share, and open the uh, notification bar, it will be very, 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 very welcome. Uh, so as I said, I'm going to I'm planning to use Leonardo's Adoration of the Maggi, but first let's uh, organize the proportion because it's the painting is 247 centimeters to 246, I think it's like that, something like that. Let's check. Yeah, uh, 243 to uh, 246 centimeters. So it's a very big painting. Uh, I saw it in uh, Uffizi Museum in Italy uh, in. In 2008, uh, it, it's been a long time, and I love this painting. Uh, it changed lots, of, lots of, lots of ideas about art. But I'm not going to do. I just want to mention that I'm not going to do a full copy of it. I just want to use Leonardo's composition as a start of what I'm going to do. Uh, the idea came to me today that. Uh, I explained one of my students how to sketch in more abstract forms and when uh, trying to do color form and other stuff, planning too much uh, is not a, a good solution. So sometimes just use a reference from some place and then start something like this reference can be a painting like today or some form that you observe from your daily life, maybe an area from your workspace or an area from, from the uh, your uh, window view or common coffee shop place, something like that. And uh, when you do that, uh, just observe the form, just put some drawing on it, hatch something on the paper, draw anything, and then and then continue on doing it. So let's look at our reference. We need a figure kind of some form of figure or around here. So for the Magdalena, uh, but 
Is it Mark Dehler in English? Madonna. So let's let's use these shapes as a base figure. Just just a base. Uh, and by the way, Ruta, uh, it's very nice to hear that someone is uh, waiting to be these uh, streams in English. I'm very, very, very really glad to uh, do that. So if you can just see up here in the logo, Hatch Talks is our uh, address. And if you come to YouTube and uh, just subscribe, it will be very, very wonderful. Let's say I will just bring it to the uh, main screen also. It is Hatch Talks and English version of my YouTube channel. And I'm doing live streams on YouTube on fr uh, Fridays at 10 p.m. Uh, in YouTube, Hatch Talks. And in Facebook, John Bear Coach uh, Facebook page. And in Twitch, it's also uh, another page in my name. I can't take this Twitch page my in my channel's name. Twitch didn't allow it to do that. So uh, later on, we will change it because I don't like the name of the channel in Twitch. Uh, but sometimes you can't do anything. You just work on what you have. So uh, today I'm not concentrating hard on composition. As you can see, I'm using something a base uh, because I just want to use colors as a form and a reference point, and I just want to mix it and show it to, to you. And uh, when you are in dub uh, of how to draw, how to start an idea, it will be very very nice to um, work on something a great master do and. Put your effort on it and make a new com uh, composition on it. Lots of great great masters do that, like um, Monet's painting. Uh, the picnic painting is based on Raphael's uh, drawings. Uh, so uh, this is a common uh, idea, let's say idea uh, about draw drawing and composition. You just, but it's not copying. You just use the basic form, basic shapes uh, from the painting, and then do what you want to do, what you imagine to do. So we have one more comment. Let's, let's see on it. Hello, hi. Great to be seeing you guys. So uh, we will just, just start a little bit more and draw and make everything in order. So let's mix some colors. Start with light tones. Uh, a frogon art blue will be a good start. This is a very strong blue, by the way. I said light colors, but it's a strong blue. So when you start the painting with a strong color like this, you have to be a little bit careful, but not too much. I choose this color because it's very similar to Leonardo's some drawings uh, and some paintings. So it, I thought it would be very, very nice to put this blue as a shape. So because I started as a tonal drawing base, so I thought it would be very, very nice to draw something what i plan on these uh, english uh, live streams uh, today we start with blue and i'm thinking to do all colors the primary colors so next week something red and something yellow next so that we will talk about colors a little bit, the uh, basics of monochrome composition, because I believe monochrome composition is the best way to start how to use color. You know, if you if you learn to uh, find different variances uh, of one color and just mixing 
and finding different tomes on it will teach you so much. So uh, it's always a good start. And this is how I learned to use uh, color also. I learned uh, in art school, uh, we have a task that uh, we, are, we are mixing different colors and just doing uh, shapes on colors, just mixing on it. Uh, using different versions on, on it. And I did lots of those kind of paintings uh, at uh, university. Uh, and I love it, doing it. Um, and when doing it, I learned that uh, mastering and learning only one color is a huge task. Most people try to do everything in one term. No, it's not a good idea always it's good to learn something first experiment on it and then find your way on it uh tuna said something i'm blue da da di da ba da now it's on your head no i'm it's not in my head sorry uh, i my head is in uh, in uh, explaining all this stuff using only english because it's it's always easier to make an art uh, instruction in your own language. Trying to do it in a different language is a huge other task, and my brain is just just concentrating very very hard on it. Sorry. So I start with here some blue shapes and I don't know what will happen in the end what this painting will turn into I have no idea I just know that this is a good start for a composition point of yeah it's a very good composition trying to solve the subject uh, as a team um, is a difficult task. It's a very, very difficult task. But concentrating concentrating on shapes and then drawing something is a better solution always. This is this is what I learned over the years. And it's also the best way to teach someone how to use colors. So if you have because in YouTube, lots of people show us techniques and how to mix stuff, but not the experiment itself. We, what, what's missing in YouTube art videos is the, the experiment that we all, all professionals and all illustrators do. We experiment on lots of stuff. Uh, we learn our craft by experimenting a lot and then we share the outcome we just don't draw first the outcome we draw on the way find different different uh, ideas try different ideas and then and only then after that so uh, first I'm not mixing these blues I'm just using these blue blues in the different areas because that's how I started the painting I just put some shapes so I put some shapes now I'm concentrating on to drawing other shapes uh, for this illustration or this drawing or this painting whatever you want to call it we are using a good paper uh, 300 grams uh, watercolor paper for from for uh, Mizra Newton uh, it's a good paper uh, and uh, I don't like to use very good quality paper for some experiments but Color needs that. For learning color, you have to use sometimes good 
your good paints, your good brushes, your good uh, papers, so that you will learn. You know, you know what I mean. So it's like that. Oh, I mean, I'm explaining in university when I'm doing these color studies. Uh, I looked uh, Pablo Picasso's uh, blue term uh, very much, and that's how I decide now I'm mixing the colors on paper. That's how I, and when I decided to do all the problems, to solve all the problems using and trying to find a way to solve one color at a time. So I want to plan on showing you guys about this. I'm going to bring another blue here. Uh, let's find another blue from my, where is it? Oh, yes. Another one, a Prussian blue. I love Prussian blue very much. Uh, that's why I didn't start with it. Because when I start with using Prussian blue, uh, it will be only Prussian blue. And one more thing. I'm using my palette that I recently used and I didn't clean it pro properly. Uh, this is on purpose. Uh, when you are using, uh, um, when you are making a monochrome painting, you should uh, always consider to put some little, very little, uh, another color inside. This will help you to solve other problems in your painting also. So just some brush strokes, some tones, some forms. And as I said before, I don't know what these guys will turn into, but I'm just putting some forms on it, like experimenting in studio, in class. Recently, I'm thinking this experiment Think, think a lot. Uh, after these live streams and sharing on Instagram, going on a hunt for followers and uh, promoting our channels, our accounts and other stuff to find students, to find um, art collectors, etc. Or to galleries, uh, which we want to... Uh, organize exhibitions and we want them to notice us we forget how important it is as an artist to experiment different forms different shapes different colors not concentrating to outcome but just be uh, inside the journey and have fun with it and i think we forget on it forget this and it's important, it's important to experiment. I really miss those days that uh, three or four artist friends working late at night, just drawing, criticizing our work uh, and giving ideas about our work. It was, it was very, um, I don't remember, it was very, very, uh productive times so i thought it's better to just do some stuff do some experiments and showing my alone time in the studio uh, where i plan most of my other work, lessons, etc. and share with you is an important part of art making process.
Of course, this drawing will not finish tonight. Uh, because if I want to use some ink, black ink, maybe for contours, uh, this will not dry. It, it, this painting will probably be wet at the end. But I will finish it and share it on Instagram at Hatch Talks. Let's, let's put my palette here so you guys can see where I'm taking the color. If you guys share the video and like, it will be a huge help. And please just comment something on the chat because YouTube notices that, YouTube thinks that when people just uh, write on something, uh, it will, YouTube will uh, promote this video to other uh, people also. So it's important that if you like guys just like it, Write a comment on it. It will be a huge help for this new channel that we are working on. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your nice words. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm doing these live streams three, three days a week. And this is the only English one. Uh, I want to do more English live streams in future, but my English is a little, a little bit rusty because, like you just said, Ruta, uh, staying home and working only from home uh, changed lots of stuff. It changed, like, I, some of my skills sharpened. And some of my skills skills became became more rusty, uh, like my English. It was better a year ago. So I thought I will just open this English channel and start to live stream on it and experiment about art talk and what people like. Uh, it will be a good start. What do you think about that? Yes. So I'm thinking um, dark tones to front and light tones, whites to uh, back. And if it's dry, we will use some white for contours. Because it's something blue, but I don't know what it is. This is my uh, subject today. Something blue. It doesn't have to be a solid form. It's just something. Like the Beatles song. Do you remember the Beatles song? Something in the way she moves. So something in this blue moves. To where? I don't know. So what was this? This was Proustian blue. A little bit more. 
as I said earlier. <laughs> Give me a Prussian blue and I will just do everything in Prussian blue. I love this color. Maybe I love Hoksai very much. You know, Hoksai is great, babe. Great. Great, great, great painting, great illustration. It's small, very compact. I like it very much. Tuna said something. Experiment is essential for understanding the material of choice and practice makes perfect. Just like our language skills. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, something blue is on the way. Just, just want to see how you guys. Yes. I close the computer lights so that my glasses don't reflect anything. But uh, when you are working on monochrome, uh, you need all the light. you need to get because you know when, when you're drawing something uh what you should do this is a huge uh, thing to do and most people don't do that you just have to put it some distance and look from it on distance all i see is it's rude to on live streams it's rude to do that because the viewer needs to see that. So the uh, screen does uh, have ta this task also. The screen is the area that I put uh, the painting f in front of me and uh, observe it from outside. Uh, and in most my in most of my streams, uh, I don't want the reflection on my glasses, so uh, I just use my computer in very 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 dark mode. But these blues the, needs all the light so that I can solve the other stuff. So for the tree, let's work and put some colors because. Uh, you should ver make variances to the painting. Even I want to finish this area as in ultramarine, but the other colors gives a tone. Tone is something it just happens when you work layer on layer, layer on layer. So let's put another ultramarine again. Every layer I put to the painting uh, will solve another texture or another uh, form in the painting. Yes. 
So a little bit more. And a little bit here. A cobalt blue again for effect. Who's your pa favorite painter, guys? Who do you like most? So I started to, to, to change a little bit. Now I'm putting myself a distance to Leonardo. This is how you learn to be yourself. Use your master's, choose a master and use his skills for your composition and then use the force and be yourself, but don't give in to the dark side. So it's 30 minutes. Monet. Or to say Monet. Which painting? Velasquez and Jean Reon. <laughs> yeah, get on. In that case, yes, get on. I don't like Orientalists. But Jerome is a strong painter. And his atelier uh, is important for Turkish art uh, history uh, because some important painters in Turkish art first studied in Jerome's atelier, like Osman Hamdi Bey. That's nice. Made the blue with with me. Yes, it can be. So here we are going to use only the left the colors in the palette and use my brush <laughs> it's hard to say yeah you're all right but there are always some uh favorite paintings like today what i'm leonardo's adoration of this is an unfinished painting uh, but it's a, it has a huge impact uh, of how I understand painting and art. So there are some, uh, there is a Van Gogh painting, I think it's Lilacs. Uh, I don't like it very much, but when I see it, I understand lots of things about painting and Van Gogh's some works. So I think there are some uh, milestone paintings for every person. Some of them are great paintings, 
very well known, like uh, Raphael's School of Athens. Uh, but there are some other paintings that you just know, just observed, and give you an idea or let you think of something and change the way how you uh, understand that art. It's like one of them, this happened to me in, in New York at uh, MoMA. Uh, I saw Pablo Picasso's Boy and the Horse painting. Uh, it's a very huge painting, and it's my it's my it's my first time at MoMA, and I'm very excited to see uh, the girls from Avignon first time from the original. And when I enter the salon, the gallery, Avignon painting is just in front of me, but on the right, Pablo Picasso's horse with the kid. It's not a good painting, but that painting affected me very, very much that's one of two times that i understand picasso better because it's a huge composition and that painting uh tells lots of lots of lots of stuff uh, so there are some paintings like that it helps you to to uh, think about art, especially if you are a professional and or an artist director. Some paintings teach. Like I saw. El Greco's, one of the portraits that he made, one of the popes, I don't remember which one, I saw it on Metropolitan and at that painting I learned the importance of the distance because at that painting the popes has a costume and there are some golden uh, forms and I'm just like, how did he do that? How did he? And I just go straight to the painting. And I saw that it's just what he did is like this. He just put some brush, brush strokes. When you look very closely, like this, it's just brush strokes. But when you are looking from a distance, like two meters, it's just a good clothing detail. And I'm amazed by that. And I, at that day, I learned the importance of the brush stroke. The, it's touche. We, we call it, it touche. For instance, from French originated. Uh, we call it in Turkish Tushesi. Uh, yeah, it's like that. So we need a little bit um, brighter area on the front. So I'm thinking cerulean. I think this color will help us because this is a different um, pigment. That we can use in the front. So. Yeah, figure inside the figure.
Yes. So what this paint, what this composition composition needs is a strong dark, but not inside, outside. So I'm thinking using black ink on the left and right. And maybe it's, it will dissolve inside and using a more different brush than the others. So let's let's do that. Oops, sorry. By the way, it's always to use some uh, tape on the left and right side of your drawing paper so that uh, it will be better. You can control pen and paper better. Uh, but when you are doing for something for yourself, you don't have to always organize uh, your desk and your area. You just, you just just want to start something, you know. So today I'm doing like that. I just start something. I just want to draw something, something blue. See? So let's turn it backwards. One of my teachers said, Cenk Behan, I learned him a lot. I learned from him a lot. He said, if you're in doubt that you do a good painting or you're in your, or you, you want to be sure about and you create a good composition, uh, check it on backwards. If it is, if it still has some form of some sense of gravity, you did it right. You composed it right. But when it's backwards and it's not, uh, it doesn't have a sense of uh, uh, gravity, then you did something wrong in the painting. And you should restart and rethink and change something inside your painting. This is what I do today. See? So, those dark spots are needed. And my first and original idea that after this uh, dried out, uh, using a pen and Drawing on it will be a very good idea. And we, maybe we will just start a little bit in this area so that I can show you what I'm going to do. Uh, but in 10 minutes, we will uh, finish the live stream uh, because this paper need to... dry. So that I can do this hatchings better but i want to show you what i do from close that i'm just putting some marks and do you have any idea for next week uh, i'm planning to do something red <laughs> And for red, I just want to use another uh, big composition as a reference. So 
if you have any idea, maybe one of uh, Raffaello's Madonnas will be a good start so that we will observe the geometry in the painting. So as you see on the right top corner, I start to ha hatch. And all the colors, one color actually, but the variations of that color start to mean something. I can always draw, do the hatching first and uh, draw again. But as I mentioned before, using a great master's composition and using its shapes for your base and putting the color first, the tones first, and then, and only then, drawing and hatching and making details will mean more. It will mean much, much, much more. Yes. Thank you, by the way. Thanks, mom. Maybe, oh guys, I have an idea. Let's make this painting about Tolkien. Like these three will be the trolls. And here is some tiny hobbit. And the sun is just, just coming from the back. It will just turn into rock. Hello again. So. I will turn Leonardo da Vinci's Adoration of the Magi to an Hobbit illustration. Why not? Why not? And just let's just put a shadowy figure of Gandalf the Grey to the back. Because during this argument, Gandalf is the master behind everything. He's making a spell to the trolls that they argue. So I'm just putting the hooded figure of Gandalf the Grey with his staff. Maybe. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure about this. Not quite sure about this, but maybe a figure here. And then solve the other figures later on yeah. but this area is too uh, too wet we have to wait we have to wait so we will just do some uh, plant brushes and other stuff and I didn't plan on doing something about hobbits or lord of the rings because it, i always afraid to do something lord of the rings you know after ellen lee and john hall there is nothing to do but today i just use the basic shapes from leonardo da vinci's adoration of the magi and something blue and started doing something and it turned into another thing so something in the way Blue moves. And all I have to do 
is hatch on it. I'm going to stop. I'm going. I'm. I'm not continue to this bad joke, but you guys, I think, under to understand me. <laughs> Boss went local. Patron children. I mixed one of the greatest masters of painting and literature. Fair deal. So a big troll over here. <laughs> I love this. I love this. And it became very dark. And this darkness switched to, switched to the subject also. And I'm not going to finish it like Leonardo. And some small hobbits and dwarves. Yep. I think that's it. I think I did it. Yeah, I think I did it. Thank you. Maybe after it's dried, I will use some white. Just just putting this to show you guys. But we have to wait for highlights. But the paper is too wet for doing this. So I have to wait a couple of hours and uh, finish it. And share it on Instagram at Hatch Talks. We will be on live. We will be live on YouTube every Friday night at 10. And in Facebook, in my pa Facebook page and Twitch also. And uh, we will be in uh, Fevkalade Sohbetler on Wednesdays and Sundays on YouTube. And here is you can see Hatch Talks. We are in YouTube and Instagram. This is the English version of my Turkish channel, Fevkalde Sohbetler. And you can just write down my name on Facebook. And you can see my arts page. And you can see these live streams, whether it's Turkish or in English, every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on Turkish time zone, 10 p.m. Uh, it's very, very nice to be with you. Thank you for watching. Uh, live long and prosper, guys. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye.